Well, the holiday season is almost here, and for many this brings about memories that are warm and fuzzy and lots of excitement. But for those like me who grew up with an alcoholic parent, it can also bring lots of anxiety, a roller coaster of emotions. And I used to 100% dread the holidays, and I thought that I would for my whole life. And it's because I have very painful memories from Christmas Day, Thanksgiving Day, many of the staple holidays because of all the chaos that resulted from my mother's substance use disorder. But I realized through my healing journey that I had the opportunity to create new traditions, to have good memories, and I've been actively doing that and had a lot of great success. So today I'd like to share 10 ways I keep my cool and serenity during the holidays and I hope it helps you. So let's jump in. First is set and stick to boundaries. It's your life, you get to make the rules and you don't have to feel obligated to attend every event. And this might feel strange because it's tradition. You always attended this event and that event. But if, if it thinking about it gives you tremendous stress, you don't have to attend that event. You can make that boundary and stick to it. Or you could make a plan to attend only a portion of that event. Maybe when you think about a certain family member or your parent who will be present and, and that just stresses you out so much, you can stay for a little while or just not attend at all. Two, stay focused on yourself. You are the only person you can control. And if you really concentrate on your own well-being, it will help shed any anxiety or stress that you have over other people. Three is to stay close to your peeps, to stay close to your, your support system. These are the people who make you feel good, who understand you, who just get holidays feel for you. Plan to spend more time with them. Four is practicing self-care. So this is a great time to double down on what makes you feel good. For me, this translates to making sure I'm getting enough sleep, that I'm taking baths and reading and writing and having just general alone time with myself. And this is hard to do because there's generally so many activities in your schedule during the holidays. So you really have to make a conscious effort to make sure that you're you're making time for those activities that um, you know are good for your own well-being. Five is having mindful communication. So the holidays often put you around people you maybe haven't spent time with for several years or it's the only time of the year you spend time with them and sometimes those conversations can become pretty tense. But if you make sure going into the event that you're going to be mindful in your communication, it will go a lot more smoothly. And what I mean by that is you're staying calm, that you're you're recognizing that it's important to express yourself and you should do it in a way that isn't blaming, that um, is in a way that is more peaceful. You should go into all family events knowing you're going to feel all the feels. And if you just recognize that and accept it, it's easier to get through. If you know, okay, this event is, is two or three hours, I know I'm going to be feeling frustrated or angry or hurt, or it's going to bring about memories of this and that. If you are mentally prepared to experience that and let yourself feel it, knowing that it's a temporary situation, you're going to be out of it and, and leaving the event, it's a lot easier easier to deal with. And six is absolutely most important to me, and that is creating new traditions. And I really didn't think about this until I had a family of my own and realized that I had the opportunity to make new memories and change the way I felt about the holidays as a whole. I never, ever thought I would look forward to the holidays, um, and now I do. And it's through creating new traditions. So for example, my husband and I do not a plan to do anything on Christmas Day with our families. This is a time for us to truly celebrate the holiday together to make sure it's stress-free and that we um, are creating our own traditions with the meals that we create and what we do on that particular day. So you have the ability to do it. And for me, it's been a huge game changer. A seven is to plan an exit strategy at the events. So um, if you set a boundary and if you know that if you have an exchange with a certain person at the event or you start feeling a certain way, um, maybe that is your trigger, your cue to know that it is time to uh, to head home. You don't have to stay for the entirety of an event and you can have a strategy in place to make sure that you get out of that um, so you can be on your way and not feeling those feelings. And eight is to seek professional help. So 
If you don't already have a therapist, I highly recommend it. I think everyone in the whole world will benefit from a therapist, not just those who grew up in a dysfunctional environment or with an alcoholic parent. A, a therapist who just gets it, who understands what the holidays bring about, the unique feelings that you might have based on your experience. It just helps to talk to a professional. Um, and you might want, to, if you are seeing a therapist, you might want to schedule a few extra sessions with them. And nine is to to remember your progress. So you have come a long way in your journey and your healing process. And sometimes it's hard to recognize that when you're feeling all those feelings and feeling stressed throughout the holidays. But if you really think about how you felt in the past and how you are today and all that you've learned and all that you've accomplished, it really um, helps recognize that over the years, you're going to continue to make progress. It is truly a journey. Um, and you should recognize and celebrate all the work that you put in to have that. And 10 is to be grateful. Gratitude is extremely powerful. So during this time, I really try to focus on all the good in my life, all the things that I have to be grateful for. And that helps keep my, my prioritization, keep my focus on all the good things versus the negative memories, the uh, negative feelings that I might have crop up, the triggers I might have during the holiday season. So as you gear up for your family celebrations for the holiday season, Remember that you're not alone in these experiences. There are millions of adult children of alcoholics and people who've grown up in dysfunctional environments, and we all feel these feelings during the holidays. And it's part of the healing process to learn how to navigate that, how to keep your serenity, how to stay calm through the holidays. I wish you a season full of activities that you love to do, full of serenity. Keep growing and focusing on you. You deserve the life you want.